Hi all, I'm Dr. J. Jayaprada. Today we are going to see the basics of database management system. What is data? Data is a raw fact. For example, if you are going to say 10 RAM, uh, laptop, and then a bottle. So there is a raw data, it's not giving you any meaning. So whereas the information, okay, the information which gives meaning for the data is needed. For example, if it's 10, then the registration number or the ID is 10 and the name is RAM. And then uh, this is a, uh, what, uh, the distance in uh, miles, which is 200. So the data uh, is nothing but information. The data is raw, whereas the information should give the meaning for that data and then database the collection of meaningful interrelated information which is going to connect all the information and then it's going to give a meaningful interrelated information so those information will be stored in the database so the common use databases are db2 oracle sql server mysql etc so what is database management system it's nothing but it's a software system that is used to store, retrieve and run queries on data which are all stored in the database. So this database management system, it acts as an interface between the end user and the database. So it allows the user to create, read, update or some actions or some operations in the database. So it acts as an interface. So DBMS acts as an interface between the end user and the database. So in the DBMS also it manages the data. But, uh, it also has engines, it has database schema which is nothing, nothing but the design of the database. So through all this it allows the data that can be uh, some operations that can be performed, the data that can be manipulated to extract some useful information either through uh, SQL query or any other programs and then this database management system it provides us data security data integrity concurrency and then uniform data administration procedures so uh, we'll be seeing all this uh, data securities data integrities what is concurrencies and then uh, what are the uniform data administration procedures all this in our uh, forthcoming videos very detailed okay and then uh, let us go to the advantages of dbms over file processing system file processing system is an older processing system or an older system where the uh data are stored in a normal flat files okay they get stored so uh, if the data are getting stored in the flat files uh, we will not be able to know what are all the programs suppose if you need any programs to access a particular data you will not be knowing that whether this program has been done earlier or uh, um, this has been successfully uh, implemented nothing will have will not be knowing any of the information in order to uh, retrieve or to know what is happening so lot of duplicates will be there in the file system whereas due to the evolution of database management system what happens is that everything will be stored in the database and uh, due to the storage of data in the database there are a lot of things that is actually uh, eliminated uh, that is elim a lot of uh, drawbacks that in there are that are there in the file processing system are eliminated for as example like data redundancy so in database data redundancy is avoided because we know such a table is already existing so it will the database will not allow us to insert the same table again so such data duplications data inconsistencies data isolations and then data dependency atomicity data security so these are all the disadvantages of file system and these disadvantages are actually overcome in our database management system so all this all uh, all this um, file processing system uh, limitations are actually overcome and all these terms are also will be explained detailedly in our forthcoming videos we are just seeing what are all the uh, basics basics of dbms and these are all the terms that will actually keep on repeatedly coming in our all our videos so the explanation of all these will be explained and then the advantages of DBMS over file uh, processing system as I told you earlier. So what are all the things that are uh, considered to be the um, limitations of file system? Those are all actually uh, overcome in database management system. No redundant data and then uh, data consistency and integrity. So okay, I'll explain you what is data consistency. So data consistency is nothing but it detects and prevents the discrepancies in data okay due to the inconsistent data entry or storage and then uh, data concurrency so what is data concurrency so it is nothing but is the ability to allow the multiple users to access or affect the multiple transactions within the 
database and also what is data security everybody knows what is security and then everybody knows what is privacy so the unauthorized users cannot access the data in the database management system because uh, to enter into the database management system there will be a lot of authentications and authorization will be needed and then easy access to data by using a sql query language you can easily access the data if it is there in the file system then you have to search manual um, uh, manual effort is needed uh, in our uh, file system whereas in database management system the it can be data can be easily accessed through query languages or through any other programs and then uh, data recovery so if there is any problem the data can be recovered in database management system and database management system is also flexible so these are all the advantages of dbms over file system and then uh, applications of dbms uh, dbms as i told you earlier dbms is nothing but database management system so dbms is nothing but it's a collection of meaningful interrelated informations so um, dbms has a collection of a uh, set of programs to store access and to perform many operations in a very easy and effective manner so why we need dbms so dbms are actually uh, needed database management are actually needed to deal with the uh, hefty amount of data huge amount of data so uh, in a file system you cannot store hefty amount of data even if you store it's useless because manual effort is needed and then that cannot be a lot of redundancy duplications will know because we don't know whether there's such a program or such an implementation has been already done so in order to make the data to be effectively stored and retrieved we need the dbms so uh, after the dbms come into picture there are a lot of uh, time has been saved and then um, applications of uh, DBMS, why we need to use DBMS to develop a software applications in uh, less time. So we can actually through uh, DBMS, the manual uh, effort is actually very less, the manual effort is actually very less needed. And so it is used to develop a software applications in very less timing. Okay, and then uh, data independence and efficient use of data. So the data can be efficiently used and then the data will be uh, independent and then for uniform data administrations. So the data administration is actually very easy in DBMS for data integrity and security. I told you what is data integrity already. It helps to identify and rectify errors due to some data corruptions and then for concurrent access to data. So in flat files, um, we cannot be able to have multiple users affecting these uh, transactions at the same time whereas in dbms this can be done and then to you have a user friendly declarative query languages so sql and flat files uh, you need to write the programs so or whatever the language you need to write the programs to access it here we have a sql query where through this sql query we can easily access the data and then uh, applications of dbms let's see where all this dbms is uh, can be applied so these are all like banking transportations universities telecommunications finance sales manufacturing and social media for banking banking uh, we need a lot of information to be stored so what are all those uh, information that needs to be stored so managing customers information account information the the amount that has been deposited how much amount has been paid for the loans and how much emi principles everything everything needs to be stored so it's a hefty amount that needs to be stored so obviously database management system is needed whereas not only for storage to retrieving also we need a easy retrieving method so dbms is mainly used for that and transportation to maintain and manage all the customers informations for the reservations and then uh, uh, who have reserved who have cancelled all the schedule informations everything is actually needed and then universities so students information staffs informations course registrations uh, and then the college information everything the grades of the students everything is needs to be stored in the dbms telecommunic telecommunications so um, all the record bills and then uh, uh, balances how much they're making whoever have paid all the call records everything for everything we need the dbms and then uh, for finance we need uh, for storing information about the stock sales and then what how much the stock has now uh, gone and what is the uh, what financial instruments like stocks bonds and how much it has been uh, sold out and how much uh, who have paid and how much the stock will be in the next uh, future everything everything in the finance that will be needed and then sales to store the customer details product details sale informations and manufacturing also the supply chain and tracking of the 
production of items we need dbms so social media now social media is the major thing to manage a user account security and data access for everything uh, these are all some applications i'm listing i could say for all the applications we need the dbms nowadays and then uh, the next one is the purpose of database management system so the purpose of database management system is to transform the data into the knowledge and that knowledge should be put into action so just i told you data is nothing but a raw fact but that raw fact needs to be converted into the meaningful information right so for example if it's a thousand then i can say it's a inr that's a indian amount of thousand so this thousand is a raw data where that needs to be converted into meaningful information i could say rupees thousand and then this information needs to be converted into knowledge so you have inr is equal to thousand then for 75 uh, usd dollars or for one usd dollars how much is the inr and then for euro how much is the uh, indian rupee so this because of this information we can get into lot of knowledge and then this knowledge need to be put into action for various decision making now the whole world is into decision making so this data is being transformed into information and then this information is converted into knowledge and this knowledge is put into action now and lot of uh, companies industries are actually falling into the decision making systems so through this information and then purpose of uh, dbms so whatever i've explained in the previous slide so that has been put as a flow chart here so the data is being converted into the um information the data is being converted into the information and then this information is getting converted into the knowledge and then this knowledge is again put into action for various processing such as decision making and for various things this actually uh, knowledge needs to be processed thank you guys we'll see uh, the forthcoming videos all the interesting concepts and the complete concepts of the database management system in our videos thank you